the cool room. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is kind of a monumental day. Not really. It's a monumental video maybe because uh, we're doing a dorm tour. I've um, never done a dorm tour. I've done a campus tour. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. That was pretty fun. I filmed that with Tibby. But today we are doing a little white. A uh, dorm tour. Get ready. Jenkins Hall. It's going down. Let me go back to the start because uh, we gotta start all the way from the beginning. No, but before we begin, there is something I need to tell you guys. I did have coffee this morning, so if my breath stinks. <laughs> so, to start, Jenkins Hall is set up in a dorm style. It's not technically an apartment because there's no kitchens in the rooms. So, what Jenkins Hall does give you is four singles, a living room, like a common area, and two bathrooms, which I think is pretty nice. I chose Jenkins Hall the past two years. I was here last year. If you saw any of my videos, you would have seen kind of the similar layout. But I chose Jenkins Hall because I wanted the two bathrooms. I didn't really need a kitchen because, you know, I do have a meal plan. So I'm like, why I get a kitchen in my room with having to buy groceries and stuff if I'm just using the meal plan? And I mean, in my room, we have a little kitchen. It's pretty nice. Shout out to my boys, my roommates. My roommates went home for Thanksgiving, so I can't really show you what their rooms look like, but I can show you what mine looks like at the end. So stay, stick around because I'll show you what that looks like. But yeah, four singles is how the rooms are set up. They come with like a bed, a dresser, a desk, a wardrobe to a closet, and that's that. And then the living room has a table, a couch, two chairs, and uh, that's pretty much it. And you can do whatever you want. You can put a carpet. We didn't really do much. I mean, they get a pretty nice TV stand, and we have a TV out here too, and a couple of other things, but you could do whatever you want with the common area. What's also nice about my room and our room is that we got probably the best view in the whole entire Jenkins Hall. So you can see downtown, and then my individual individual rooms, our individual rooms face the bay. I don't know about you, but you get both downtown and the bay. It's a win-win. Win, winner, winner, chicken dinner. In um, our room specifically, we have this nice little closet when you first walk in, because this is the door. There's a nice little closet right here. We uh, hold our shoes. It's mainly my roommate's shoes, but it's a nice little shoe rack we got going here. It's a weird little Ooh. cave here. We found a way to use it. Let me show you the bathrooms now. The bathrooms are pretty straightforward. You get you know, you get like a one here for one person. You get one here for another person. They come with little like doors you could open and put stuff in, which is pretty cool. Toilet, which you, know, you don't need to see. And then a shower. Um, nice little uh, shower area. The water, honestly, so nice. I'm not kidding. I could blast that thing on hot and I just feel like I'm in a warm hot tub. But yeah, both bathrooms are set up the same way. This is the one I use. And then this other one is my other two roommates, what they use. What else do you need in a bathroom? Like you don't need a full walk-in closet. And so I make do with what, with what I got. It's a nice uh, towel rack for your towels. And um, yeah, oh, one more other thing. All of the dorms come with ACs with thermostats that you can individually customize. Central air, which is nice, especially in Florida, the hot weather. You can change like what kind you want. You can change the fan speed. Oh no, you can change what kind of fan is blowing, I guess. And then the speed is, wait, hold on. Let me start over. The system is hot or cold. Fan is like on, auto, medium, and the speed is, wait, hold the, I don't really know what I'm saying. If anyone knows what I'm trying to say, please like fill in the blank for me because I was totally lost just trying to fill in that. Okay, but now I'm gonna show you my room. I'm in room C, which is, hold on. Oh my goodness. One second. Oh my. Why is this taking so long? There we go. Now it's time to check out the C room, which is, I believe, the cool room. Yeah, but this is my room. I'm gonna show you a little bit around. All right, so over here in this section is my wardrobe. This is the wardrobe they give you. It's just basically a closet. And I put my clothes in here. I put books on top. I got a cool little bookshelf. That's the, that was the whole hype in my uh, packing video. If you haven't seen the packing video, Go check that out. I have a three shelf cabinet thing that I got from Walmart my freshman year. And they have two drawers in the bottom here. On top of the wardrobe, besides my books, I also put like cleaning supplies. Like I have my Febreze and I have my Clorox wipes. And then behind the books, I also have like first aid kit and stuff like that. But it's nice to put that stuff up there and, and keep it organized so that you know where it is, but also it's like kind of out of the way. Okay, cool. Moving on to the bed. I lofted my bed. This is the bed that they give you besides the sheet and whatnot. And it has these cool, well not cool, but it has these adjustable prong things where you can actually loft 
loft your bed to different heights. I lofted mine this high because for the reason of putting my futon underneath. That futon is amazing during COVID and last year I realized how nice it is to just be able to chill and sit there and not have to jump up onto my bed. If you're liking this dorm tour so far, make sure to give this video a like so that it can spread to more people who are trying to see what UT and Jenkins Hall is like. But as far as the bed goes, the beds are not really that comfy. In my last video where I talked about Black Friday deals, I mentioned to get mattress toppers and mattress pads because you know the beds, they aren't that comfy. Comfy. Um, they're nice and long, they're twin XLs, but I highly recommend getting some sheets or mattress pad. I have a mattress pad here. It's really fluffy and nice. I'll link mine below in case you're looking forward to getting stuff soon. As far as lofting your bed goes, it's probably a two-man two -man job. So if you're looking to loft your bed once you get to UT, make sure you have somebody with you to help you. Facilities might even come to bring a mallet because sometimes it's hard to get these things unlatched from their not. They're, um the prongs. If you don't get a futon though, what's nice about lofting your bed is that you could stick your shelving unit, you could stick like your desk and your dresser underneath there. So that means this whole other side is free for you to use. I know some people do that and they have like a lot of extra space, but I wanted that futon so that I could just sit on it and have like a chill place, but I didn't have to climb up to bed. Also underneath the futon, I have put like supplies and stuff like that. And behind the futon, I even put like some extra bedding and stuff like that, which was fun because then I don't have to like worry about it. Sorry, my mirror is really dusty. Behind the my door to my room is a vacuum. That's a really nice stick vacuum. I'll link that below too because it's really easy to just put in the corner but it also just plugs right in and it and it's, works great for like my little carpet. Over in this corner we have my mini fridge and my microwave. I stack them on top of each other. I also have a bunch of rolls so if you are watching this and you want some rolls and you're on campus hit me up. So my desk is pretty unique or my setup for this is cool. I push them together. I push the desk they gave me and the dresser they gave me together so that I could put my TV across both of them. My TV, I wanted a giveaway and I was like, this is huge compared to the uh, one I was using and I needed extra space to do that. So I pushed these to get together so that I could have a place to put the TV. I have my old TV that I use as my second monitor, especially when I edit videos. On the left side, behind it, I have some books that I'm currently reading in my journals. I have my coffee maker next to that. I have pens and pencils and stuff in those, in these little containers, these little holders. I highly recommend those to keep pens and pencils and whatnot. And then underneath the TV, I put controllers, the PS4, which fit really nicely under there. Also my, my book by C.S. Lewis. And on the other side, on the end, the right side, I have all this junk water bottles and vitamins and whatnot. And then I have my Nintendo Switch with the games. And I just really liked how it turned out. It turned into a nice little like hangout environment. But yeah, that's my desk setup. If there's anything that you saw on my desk that you want me to send a link to, just let me know and I can link that down in the comments. And then I have a little trash can underneath, which is nice to put under. And then let me show you, I tried to put at least some stuff on my walls. When we were on Zoom, I didn't want to put anything on this wall because my laptop was like facing that wall. And I was like, I don't want a giant poster that says it's five o'clock somewhere with a coconut and a pineapple on the straw in the background. So I was like, let me not put anything on this wall, but let me totally deck out this wall. So on this wall, I have my it's five o'clock somewhere flag, which I got freshman year. I love it a lot because it just sways and it adds that uh, vibe of the beach. You know, it's relaxing and stress-free. And then I just totally flooded the walls with post-its and, and motivational things and Bible verses and nuggets from what I'm going through in the Bible. And I also have a calendar on the wall. Finally, last but not least, the LED lights. I, I was like skeptical cool about the LED lights before I got to college. I was like, everybody hypes these up. Blah, blah, blah. And then I got them and I said, man, this is um, amazing. Yeah, here's like a, a giant like aerial view of my room, but I think that covers everything. Check out this video on a tour of the actual campus. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video about UT or just college tips. And thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Thanks for doing life with all of us here at this channel. What makes this even cooler is this.